So today I'm going to discuss about a most crucial topic that is raining all throughout the kindergarten section. So are you ready? Let us see what I have today for you. Ta-da! It is cursive versus print. Excited? Because now this is a question which is most frequently asked by the trainees in my training. Yes, so this is a question which we need to cater a lot. Shall I write cursive writing? Shall I do the print writing? This is the most crucial point where you need to learn that why cursive has to be done and why the print writing has to be done. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about first what is cursive and what is print writing? Why you should do cursive and why you should do print writing? What are the hazards of changing the patterns first print writing is taught to the children and then they switch their patterns towards the cursive writing and then they're forced to learn the cursive writing so what are those hazards of switching the patterns of writing and then ultimately what is the exact remedy what do we need to do do we need to teach only cursive do we need to teach only print or both of them are required Hi, this is Shweta Gupta and you are watching me on my channel Twinkling Phonics. Watch this video till the end, then only you will be able to understand each and everything because if you leave the video in between, then your knowledge will also be only half taken. So what are the advantages of teaching cursive? That is what first we are going to discuss. That if you are teaching cursive, what all advantages to get and if you are teaching print what all advantages you get or maybe what are the disadvantages of the same so let's begin number one printing letters take longer than the cursive each requires you to raise and lower the pencil and the pen point so what does it mean see if you are writing the letter a you have to just remove your pen at the contact and then you need to make the strokes you cannot be in a flow but once you are writing cursive it is in a flow you come back then you go up and then you come down so it's a flow cursive writing means once you are in a flow writing and you don't take your pen up that is what is cursive writing but what is print writing wherein you are actually you are required to raise the pen okay raise the pen then lower it then raise it and that is how you write it a then raise it then write it then raise it then write it then raise it and then write it that is how you are actually writing the print writing and that is why the strokes of print writing are very different from that of the cursive writing now when it comes to teaching cursive or the print there is a myth in the teachers of the kindergarten minds that it's very easy for a child to write the print writing because the strokes are less but no actually in the cursive writing the main strokes are only three but in case of the print writing we have many other strokes that means if my child is able to prepare a stroke like this if my child is able to make a stroke like this that is what we will be teaching the children and if my child is able to make a stroke like this right three major strokes three major there are some minor strokes also but three major strokes are there so if my child is able to make all these three strokes then it is high probability that your child will be able to write cursive and writing also right but if you consider the print writing the number of the strokes are many in number Similarly, unlike printing, all the letters move uniformly from left to right, from beginning till the end. You are continuously moving like this. See, you are continuously moving. You are not stopping anywhere. And that is why it gives a very good flow to your mind while you are writing something. If you want to write man, then it is man. 
Hmm. And that is how the flow goes on. That is what the cursive writing is. So people think that it's difficult for a child to do it. No, because once we learn the strokes like this, once I make the stroke like this, I can write the letters and that is how I can connect the various letters together. One of the biggest disadvantage of writing print is that whenever the child is writing B or D, the child gets confused. Definitely this could be the problem with you also that your child is not writing B and D properly. The child is actually reversing the letters and then you have to take the other measures so as to teach the children that the letter B is different and letter D is different. Now, For writing B, we need to make a standing line and then we need to make a curve like this. Okay. Similarly, for standing line B, we need to make a standing line and then we have to make the curve like this. And this becomes very much confusing for the children, for which we give them many remedies that there is a child who has got a belly. Now, this is the hand of the child. This is the leg of the child. So this is the belly and this is the diaper of the child. This is funny. Really, it's funny. But still, this is the diaper. This is the belly of the child that is how my child is actually learning that how you have to make the letter b and the letter d with the help of the print letters but once you are doing cursive writing then what happens is the child has to take a pen up then come down this is my first stroke and then the child has to take this stroke right and similarly if the child has to write the letter d First, he has to do the little stroke and then the child has to go up. So the problem of dyslexia, that is the child does the reversals, that is greatly solved once you are working in the cursive handwriting skills. Okay, so B and D, if you can see here, we have the first standing stroke and then we have the first cursive stroke that is the letter C stroke while you are teaching the letter B and D. We have special names for them that we'll discuss later. So this is how actually the cursive writing is giving advantage to those children who are actually dyslexic or who are not able to understand that B and D have their respective directions as far as the writing is concerned. So if you give print writing to the children, definitely the children with the dyslexia have issues. On the other hand, if the child is learning print writing, then see what happens. The child has to at least learn six strokes in addition to the circles because the child is learning O like this. But in the cursive writing, we learn O like this. The same cursive, the same curve is there. The child has to only complete it. Okay, but here the child has to learn various shapes like this curve, then standing curve, then standing curve and then the pen has to be raised. So various starting points are there once you are learning the print writing. Let me give you a few examples. If you are learning A, the letter A and these are the two lines. Okay, so A has to start from this point. That is how you are going to make a stroke and then a starting line. But if it is a cursive, the basic curve has to be taken. That is this one and then you have to come back and that is how A is written. Okay. Similarly, if B is to be written, then it has to be standing line and then this curve two pen raises. But if it is a cursive one, it has to be this stroke and then you have to come back as we are coming in the other ones. Similarly, if it is E, then it has to start somewhere in between and then the child write it like this, print writing. But if it is a cursive one, again the same stroke of E is there. Consider the letter H. Now the child has to write from the top of the lines and that is how the child will write H. But if it is cursive, again the same curve has to be there and then the child will write H. Okay. Similarly, if you take any of the other letter letters, take O. So in O, if you have these two lines, then O also never starts from the line on the line. It has to start somewhere here and that is how the child will write O in the print writing. But in case of the cursive writing, it has to be like this. Now, if it is the letter R, then in print writing, it is somewhat like this standing line and then the curve has to be like this. But in case of the cursive writing, what happens is it is like the same curve again and again. We are following the same curve. So 
in a nutshell in a nutshell whenever you are teaching print there are numerous points at which your letter is getting started so as to write there are numerous shapes that the child is learning and that is why it is confusing for the child if a child is dyslexic then learning these different directions is a big 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 problem for the child but if it is a cursive handwriting it is always easy to start because the starting point is always the same as far as the letter writing is concerned lifting the pencil off the page in between the strokes also breaks the flow of your thought what you will be thinking while writing print is we have to start from this point let us write it oh the next letter k it has to start from the upper point then i have to write like this okay so the flow of your thought it breaks you need to be while you are writing something the thinking should not come in between it should be in a flow whatever you are thinking what sentence you are thinking should ultimately come to your hand so this should be a, a, a coordination between your brain and your hand and you should not be thinking that oh i need to write from this point i need to write from that point and then there is a break of the flow in your thoughts so if you are writing pencil how many times you are raising the pencil one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. While the linking letters in the cursive writing enable the brain to continue an idea uninterrupted. That means once the child is writing continuously with the help of the cursive writing, what happens exactly is that the child is writing and the thoughts are automatically coming up on the piece of paper. because the letters are joined the word written and the cursive has more uniform letter spacing so what do you mean by letter spacing you might have seen the children writing the word something like this right the distance between the letters is actually not in the proper format or maybe they are writing like this somewhere the distance is huge somewhere it is not somewhere they are writing like this p r i n t like that that means once the child is writing the print format of handwriting then in that case there is the interruption after each and every letter and because of which the distance between the two letters it's quite possible that this distance between two letters is not uniform while if you are working with the cursive writing we have only this curve similarly we have this curve and similarly we have this curve and the last curve is something like this so these four basic curves are there three to four basic curves are there now think if the child is writing in the cursive handwriting then how will the child write like this like this and can you see the uniformity between the letters so whenever the child is writing with the help of the cursive writing because the the font the the way in which the child is making the curves they are being in the uniform distance now see you will write a and this is the basic distance between the two letters because the, the this curve is always going to remain the same so whether you are writing it as a and then b and then c and then d and then e and then f so everywhere first important point that has to be taken care of is that you are not lifting the pen second thing is whatever flow is there it is somewhat like this so we have a uniform spacing between each and every letter and that is the beauty of cursive handwriting so now you must have seen in various schools in the various kindergarten schools that initially when the child is in the nursery grade or in the junior grade age grade they are actually learning the print handwriting they are being taught the print handwriting but as soon as they come towards the senior kg class they are forced to learn the cursive handwriting what do you think is this actually the pattern that we need to follow in the schools what happens is once you change the patterns once you are actually from the print to the cursive you are changing the way the letters have to be written then what happens is see here 
the hazards of the switching patterns so what do i mean by switching patterns switching pattern means that once you started with print writing why are we switching towards the cursive handwriting now let us understand why sadly this hypothesis is incorrect now what is this hypothesis what hypothesis i am talking about actually this hypothesis had been revolving all throughout our country since so many years since centuries since ages what is the hypothesis that people think that let the child start with the basic strokes of the printed writing and then the child may move towards the cursive handwriting but this hypothesis is wrong just imagine if we teach you first roman numerals or first arabic numerals and then we teach you the other numerals then it becomes highly confusing for the child to actually learn a child who is learning 1 2 3 4 5 5 and immediately if we tell the child that now you have to learn the roman numbers like this so you must have seen that this is really confusing for the child to grab because the child has already taken this methodology in the same way if the child has already learned the print writing and immediately you switch your child to learn writing like this now what will happen is this switching pattern is definitely going to create a chaos what happens is the learning process becomes actually in a different direction actually the learning process is reset in the initial stages they were thinking about something else in the initial nursery stage they were thinking about the sounds and the letters in this shape and symbol and now immediately after 2 years you said now that this is the perfect way to write the letters which actually resets their learning procedure they get confused and that is why now the child becomes adamant to hold the pencil and write and the child does not want to write anything maybe few of the children adopt it but many of the children fail to adopt and they fail to switch the patterns like this similarly some teachers force their students to start over which is completely wrong and that is why i am calling it as a hazard writing should come naturally to the pupils now actually the thing is that whether you are writing print or whether you are writing cursive then the biggest question here is what to follow whether the print or the cursive thing this is the biggest question that is raining all throughout the country that shall i teach print to the children or shall i teach cursive to the children now in order to understand this you need to ask yourself only one question you need to ask yourself where are you intending to you need to ask only one question what should be done you need to ask one question ask what we most want for our child now what do you want your child to actually you want your child to read the text or you want your child to switch from print to the cursive one that is your question that is what you need to answer what is my goal my goal is that my child should have the good communication skills my child should have the good reading and the writing abilities but if my child is actually doing it with the print and writing let it be my child is doing it with the cursive and writing let it be who says that the class 10th board or the 12th board you have to appear only in only in the cursive and writing or only in only in the print and writing nowhere it is written never for any grade that you have to take this exam in print or in cursive so you need to identify your goal i am not supporting cursive i am not supporting print i am supporting the goal that is intended for the child if you consider many books present all throughout the world you will find that the text that is written in those books are mainly containing the print letters so if your child has started in nursery if your child has started with the print letters let it be don't give the switching patterns If you want your child to learn cursive then from the very beginning please give the cursive and writing but switching over is really a bad idea it's a complete no you should never practice the switching patterns with your children okay so overall what is my aim at the end my aim is that we want students to be able to 
clearly communicate their ideas whether it's written format whether it's reading format or whether that is speaking format so as far as print and concept is concerned you need to identify that what you want for your child what do you think please write in the comment box that what do you want for your child do you want your child to read and write properly and communicate the ideas or you want your child to only be there with print writing or with the cursive writing i hope this video also would have given you a lot of value you would have seen this video till the end and if you like this video please like subscribe and share so we give a lot of effort in making these videos so please 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 like subscribe and share and give your support to me thank you